Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in this quick tip we're going to learn how to create a custom file renaming template. So the first thing I want to say is just there's no real right or wrong way to rename your files. It's just going to depend on what you're comfortable with. What is important is that you make sure that you're consistent when you rename. So underneath the library menu I'm going to choose to rename photo. And one of the templates that I really like that comes with Lightroom is this one. It has the custom name and the sequence. This can be really handy when you're working with a client and you simply want to put in the client's name, like the Smiths, and then a start number. But if you want to customize it, you can select Edit from the bottom of the menu and there are a ton of different options in here. Let's go ahead and remove everything by just deleting it and I'm going to start by typing in my last name and then an underscore because I want my file renaming template to be cost underscore and then the year that I took the photograph. But instead of typing in 2015, I'm going to make use of this date option right here. Now we could use the month and the day, we could use the year, month, day, there's lots of different formats but I'm just going to use the year. So I'll click insert. So what this will do is it'll go out and it'll ask Lightroom to look at the EXIF data in the file and put that year so that I don't have to change this as the years go by. Now after this I'm going to put another underscore because after that I want to add a sequence and the underscore just kind of helps keep the year apart from this sequence. As soon as we create this template that we like, we just need to save it by coming down to save the current settings as a new preset. And in fact, I've already done this. You can see here that it's called JCost File Naming Convention. So instead of saving it, I'm just going to select that. And I'm going to actually create two other file naming conventions as well while I'm here because I'm thinking that as I want to take my images from Lightroom and edit them in Photoshop, I would like to have the same core file name, but I want to add just a little suffix at the end of it. In order to do this, I'm going to remove everything and I'm going to insert the file name so that it would keep the same file name, but then I would just add an underscore ME. This would be for my master edited images that I'm going to take to Photoshop. Likewise, I would save this by choosing Save Current Settings as New Preset and in fact you can see I've already got this one saved. And I have a third one saved as well which I'll select which is the same in that it's got its file name but then an underscore LR and I use this all the time when I'm exporting my files because I want to keep the base name the same especially if I'm going to hand these files off to a client and they're going to want to maybe order these images. If I change the name completely then there could be a lot of confusion if they're ordering files that have different names than what I have in my catalog. So I'm just trying to keep things simple. Once we're done here, then we could go ahead and select whichever way we want to rename these files. Now right now I only have one image selected so I'll actually click cancel because obviously you would want to probably batch rename a number of images when you're doing this. So before we wrap up, let me just show you how you can set up your preferences here by going under the Lightroom menu to Preferences. Of course, if you are on Windows, you'd go under the Edit menu and then you would select External Editing. And down here at the bottom where it says Edit Externally File Naming, this is where I would choose the one that has the underscore ME for Master Edited so that when I do choose to right mouse click and choose edit in Photoshop, it will automatically name it with the same core or base file name but add the underscore master edited. And if I was ready to export this file, we can see here in the file naming, I'm able to select from the same templates here. So I would choose the file naming convention that has the underscore LR and then probably change things like my image sizing and my file settings to JPEG. So you can see that once you create your core renaming templates, you can then use them throughout the Lightroom application. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.